Now, going over to the political part podcast, you have Vivek calling out DeSantis to drop out and going moderately viral, getting, oh, Jesus, Louise, I wrote down these statistics, actually, about 12 hours after they post, and it got 701,000 views and 13,000 likes, which is a little, little bit less viral than usual, I suspect, because, again, Vivek officially dropped out of the presidential race, he's doing a lot of good things, helping out Trump right now into the campaign and collaboration, so I suspect he'll get a little bit less views going forward. Well, it'll be interesting to see. Who knows? He might be announced VP and all of a sudden goes to the stratosphere on social media again. Nevertheless, still pretty good feedback. And he, he says in this post, <clears throat> excuse me, quote, I give Ron DeSantis immense, immense credit if he does the right thing and drops out before the New Hampshire primary. Most of the votes will go to Trump and we can end this primary to make sure that Nikki, snake emoji, and her neocon ilk never come anywhere near the White House. That's a key reason why I exited, unquote. And again, that got 13,000 likes and 701.8 thousand views in the first 12 hours. So, pretty darn impressive to say the least. And again, I can't help but think this is priming him for a candidate position or sit some type of position within the Trump administration if Trump is successfully elected. Now, again, going to the comments section, we have the first one coming from Paul Susma. And he says, quote, Ron DeSantis won't do the right thing regarding this primary nonsense. He's already he's already 300 million in the hole to his donors and can't help himself anymore. DeSantis has proven he can't see past his own ambitions and puts America first and put America first. He can't put Florida first anymore either. Unquote. That got 143 likes. Let's see, Chris Lausch says, quote, how how did you get to give credit? Uh Again, I am not a doctor. However, I have a theory. If you click the subscribe button, it may help with my speaking ineptitudes, help me you know, slow down a little bit, maybe help my stuttering and mispronunciation of a myriad of words. But watching your first couple of videos with more subscribers, there's been a modicum of improvement. Not a lot. Still playing room for growth and development. However, if you click that button, I would greatly appreciate it. And I think it might help my theory come to fruition. So I will attempt that quote again from Chris Loshek. He says, quote, how do you get to give credit to anyone you wrote scathing things about trump and his gen sixers in your book you wanted vaccine passports you wanted to segregate the vaxxed from the unvaxxed your judgment is in serious question i wouldn't even want your endorsement unquote getting 274 likes so contrary statements or responses are brewing to the surface a little more than usual max comes out saying quote with all due respect zero who the hell are you to give immense credit two years ago you were advocating for advocating for segregating the unvaccinated unquote gained 195 likes let's see here go vivek go says quote ron DeSantis isn't even really campaigning in new hampshire everyone knows this unquote gained 20 likes moderate to severe says quote ron drops out after new hampshire nikki drops out after she loses south carolina you can take that to the bank unquote gained 78 likes pastor Coin says, quote, it's pretty obvious Trump is a Republican nominee, for better or worse, unquote, getting 39 likes. 24 Eurozone says, quote, bad move. DeSantis needs to stay in long enough to outlast Nikki Haley. If something happens to Trump and he cannot run, the GOP will choose the second leading candidate, which would then be Haley. Don't trust Dems and don't trust the GOP, unquote, getting seven, no, sorry, 28 likes. Let's see here. Louise Simpson says, quote, the fact you were pulling at 8% was the key reason you had to drop out, Vivek. Unquote, getting 13 likes. So let's see here. Twit Tales says, quote, dropping out before the New Hampshire primary to boost Trump. That's like leaving the party early to give your friend the last piece of pizza. Here you take it. I'm on a political diet. Unquote. That got eight likes. Let's see here. We have Shivani giving a response via a picture that says Trump Vivek make America great again 2024 that got 20 likes Monk says quote not gonna happen Trump is not the incumbent he needs to earn every last vote unquote getting nine likes Luke says quote please don't let Ron's media team anywhere near you or Trump the gator or crocodile emoji army of DeSantis influencers did more harm than good and turned Ron into a joke unquote getting 19 likes and yeah, I can't help but agree with that statement. The 
DeSantis' campaign, their marketing has been perhaps worse than New Coke, debatably Bud Light. Because again, they started off, or, and, well, I was going to say, perhaps not the best metaphor, because I was just going to say you start with a good product. Bud Light, let's be honest, was never a good product to begin with. But nevertheless, DeSantis had a pretty good impressive track record for governor of Florida. He has... He had a great resume. He did some great things that a lot of people appreciated, causing people and inspiring people to move to the state. It was a lot of material to work with. And yet, they just didn't communicate that properly. And you see every time in these polls, I mean, a year ago, he's around 32% in the Republican primary polls. And then a year, he's down around 11.2% to the point where Nikki Haley is beating him in some of these poll aggregators. And again, in the five, and I'm curious, the 530, let's see here. If you go to the poll aggregator right now, again, it, just like the stock market changes seemingly every second, especially as they get more polls and more data to add to it. But Trump is at an all-time high at 30, or sorry, Jesus uh, Louise, 63.1%. Nikki Haley is now at 11.9%, and DeSantis is at 11.6%. It looks like Asia Hutchinson finally dropped out because he is no longer a percentage point on the chart. So again, I mean, DeSantis started off so high, it's like a trying to think of a publicly traded stock that's just precipitously dropped like a rock. I mean, well, there's a lot of them, unfortunately. But it's one of those things where it just dropped completely like a rock. Which I'm sure there's a meta, not a metaphor, perhaps a funny limerick in there somewhere. Ron Rock? Ron Rock Trajectory DeSantis, perhaps? I was going to say, someone tweet that to Trump. He might appreciate it. But nevertheless, it just went lower and lower and lower. And it is interesting, though, in terms of the feedback right here, they're getting more and more critical of Vivek. Now we look at Max, he says, quote, you exited because you came in last, you're a pop and dub scammer, unquote, getting 68 likes. Though, again, I don't think that's really true because Vivek really didn't need the money. He's already, I believe he are, he's built a couple billion dollar businesses and he's already vastly wealthy. So I don't suspect he did this for any monetary gain. Um, but yeah, it's interesting to see yeah, the ratio of likes or positive responses were not as high as usual when it comes to Vivek. So it'll be interesting to see. Maybe that turns around. But it is, it's actually more critique than usual. Even though now he's technically no longer longer running, he dropped out. So it'll be interesting to see what happens to Vivek from here. And I, I highly doubt this answer will actually drop out. But as I say, we will see what the future may hold. Thank you everyone for taking the time to tune in again today. Trying to get to 4,000 subscribers by the end of January, so click that button, and greatly appreciate it. Also, leaving a like or a comment is a great way to give me some additional feedback, letting me know how I can make the show better and better, improve the quality over time. Also, and lastly, don't forget to take the time to tell your family, tell your friends, tell your coworkers, heck, tell your enemies, tell anyone and everyone. Just stay safe and fight the good fight.